Living in a world that often emphasizes kindness and compassion, it may seem strange not to treat everyone gently. However, Buddhism, introduced by Gautama Buddha over 2,000 years ago, offers a unique perspective on this matter. Beyond mere politeness, Buddha's teachings explore human relationships, inner peace, and spiritual growth. In this discussion, we'll delve into Buddha's teachings to understand why, at times, it's important to go beyond gentleness and adopt a more nuanced approach to life. At the age of 29, Gautama embarked on a spiritual journey to find answers about the nature of suffering and how to attain lasting happiness and inner peace. After years of meditation, he achieved enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya, India, becoming the Buddha. He then shared his insights with the world. Buddha's teachings revolve around the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, forming the core of Buddhism. These principles offer profound guidance for navigating the complexities of human existence. The Four Noble Truths, outlining the nature of suffering and the path to liberation, are crucial in understanding why treating everyone with gentleness may not always be the best approach. 1. The reality of suffering. According to Buddha's first noble truth, suffering is a natural part of life, including physical pain, emotional distress, and dissatisfaction from always wanting more. While being kind to others can provide temporary relief, it doesn't address the root causes of suffering. Buddha advises us to directly face suffering, acknowledging its presence in our lives. This approach helps us understand the nature of suffering and find effective ways to overcome it. 2. The Origin of Suffering, the Second Noble Truth points to attachment and craving as the sources of suffering. It's natural for humans to seek pleasure and avoid pain, but our attachment to these desires leads to suffering. Trying too hard to please everyone can result in attachment and a desire for approval. Buddha teaches that letting go of attachment and craving is the key to freedom from suffering. This doesn't mean becoming emotionally distant, but rather cultivating a balanced and compassionate attitude. 3. The End of Suffering The third noble truth brings hope by stating that it's possible to end suffering. By eliminating the root causes of attachment and craving, we can overcome suffering. When we release the need for external validation and stop trying to please everyone, we break free from the cycle of suffering. 4. The path to the cessation of suffering, the fourth noble. Truth introduces the eightfold path as the way to liberate ourselves from suffering. This path includes ethical behavior, mental discipline, and wisdom. While being compassionate is good, the eightfold path encourages us to develop discernment and wisdom in our interactions. The eightfold path is a helpful guide for leading a balanced and meaningful life. It consists of eight interconnected principles. 1. Right view. Understand the Four Noble Truths and see the world as it is, without distortion. Use this clarity in interactions, knowing when to be gentle and when to be discerning. 2. Right intention. Emphasizes cultivating virtuous intentions, promoting kindness, compassion, and a commitment to non-harming. Act genuinely caring instead of seeking validation. 3. Write speech. Speak truthfully, kindly, and mindfully. Avoid harmful speech like lying or harsh words. Honest and compassionate communication is encouraged, even if it means addressing conflicts. 4. Write action. Engage in ethical behavior and avoid actions that harm others. Being gentle means refraining from causing harm and not enabling harmful behavior in others. 5. Right livelihood. Choose work that aligns with ethical values and doesn't harm others. While not directly about being soft, it emphasizes avoiding work that goes against ethical principles. 6. Right effort. Cultivate positive qualities and abandon negative ones. 
balancing compassion with discernment requires intentional effort. 7. Right mindfulness. Practice being fully present and aware of thoughts, emotions and actions. Navigate social interactions with clarity and equanimity, making wise choices in responses. 8. Right concentration. Develop focused and tranquil states of mind through meditation. Enhance the ability to stay centered and composed in challenging social situations. The middle way, often linked with Buddhism, is about finding balance and avoiding extremes. In being kind to everyone, it suggests maintaining a balance between compassion and discernment. Gautama Buddha showed the middle way in his life. Before his enlightenment, he lived a lavish life as a prince and then tried extreme asceticism. Neither extreme gave him the answers he sought. Only when he found the middle way did he attain enlightenment. In our interactions, the middle way advises against being overly soft or overly harsh. Instead, we should use discernment, knowing when to show compassion and when to set boundaries. Concerns about not being soft often stem from a fear of lacking compassion. Buddhism teaches that true compassion doesn't mean enabling harmful behavior or sacrificing our well-being. Compassion involves recognizing others' suffering and wishing for their relief without allowing harm. True compassion understands the causes of suffering and aims to alleviate it wisely. Enabling, often seen as compassion, can perpetuate suffering by allowing destructive patterns. Buddhism distinguishes true compassion from enabling. It seeks to address the root causes of suffering even if it means setting boundaries or providing tough love. True compassion is wise and discerning, not blind softness. The parable of the mustard seed illustrates the universality of suffering. It shows that softness alone can't eliminate suffering. Wisdom and understanding offer a deeper solution. Buddhism emphasizes skillful means in guiding others toward enlightenment. This involves using appropriate methods based on individuals' unique needs. In not being soft to everyone, skillful means enable tailored approaches for effective communication and compassionate guidance. Tailoring compassion requires a nuanced understanding of each person's situation and needs. Skillful means adapt our interactions to provide the right balance of support, guidance and boundaries, recognizing individual differences. Mindfulness is a key practice in Buddhism that involves being aware of the present moment without judgment. It's a useful tool for handling the challenges of not being overly soft to everyone. Self-compassion is also important. Mindfulness encourages us to be compassionate toward ourselves. While avoiding excessive softness, it's crucial to remember that self-care and self-compassion are essential. Being mindful of our own needs and emotions helps maintain inner balance and prevent burnout. Understanding the impermanence of emotions and relationships is crucial. Embracing impermanence teaches us how to let go. Clinging to rigid ideas of being soft to everyone is pointless. Instead, we can approach our relationships with openness and adaptability, allowing them to naturally evolve. Equanimity, a key concept in Buddhism, involves maintaining mental and emotional balance amid life's ups and downs. Cultivating equanimity is particularly valuable when trying not to be too soft to everyone as it helps us stay composed and compassionate in all situations. In life, we often face situations challenging our understanding of compassion and softness. Buddhist teachings provide profound guidance on navigating these complexities with wisdom. The middle way, emphasized by Buddha, encourages balancing softness and discernment. Embracing this middle way honors Buddha's timeless wisdom, bringing greater peace and harmony into our lives and the world. Ultimately, the balance of softness and discernment leads to true compassion, 
transcending fleeting emotions and bringing lasting peace. May we all walk this path with open hearts and enlightenment. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up to support our mission of sharing ancient wisdom. If you're new, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for more lessons on ancient wisdom. We appreciate your viewership and look forward to seeing you in our upcoming videos. To access more content, choose one of the videos on your screen now.